Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrol. My name is Brian and the Teamsters president, Sean O'Brien, you know the guy that Mark Wayne Mullen wanted to fight in the Senate? He absolutely eviscerates the Democrat Party because they have abandoned union workers. The Democrat coalition is coming apart at the seams. But before we dive in, I want to give a quick shout out to our great sponsors over at Colonial Metals Group. They quite literally have the cure to buy inflation and Harris economics, but more on that later. Now, let's dive in. I'll be honest with you, I'm a, I'm a Democrat, but they have f***ed us over for the last 40 years and for once, and not all of them, but for once, we're standing up as a union, probably the only one right now, saying, what the f*** have you done for us? Yeah. And I'm getting attacked from the left. You know, and we've given, since I've been in, in office two and a half years, we've given the Democratic machine $15.7 million. We've given Republicans about 340000 truth be told. So it's like, you know, people say the Democratic Party is the party of the working people. They're bought and paid for by big tech. That big, those big tech companies. Yeah, tech that is are, the new that, fossil that, fuel, yeah, man. Right? That's what I say. Right. And you've got the Republicans who are now saying, hey, we want to be the working class party, right? And- Okay, you've got a great opportunity right now to do that. And the Democrats, if 60% of our members aren't supporting you, the fucking system's broken. Yeah. And you need to fix it. Stop pointing fingers at Sean O'Brien. Stop pointing fingers at the Teamsters Union. Look in the mirror. I mean, I had a, I had a heated debate with heated discussion two weeks ago with Chuck Schumer. And it got fucking Chuck ugly. Chuck Schumer is a piece of shit. And it got ugly because, you know, these politicians, you know, the, the one thing I've learned, they fucking walk in and they tell you, I did this for you. Okay, great. Let me tell you what you haven't f***ing done for us or our members. And we got into it pretty heavy. And I'm like, you had no problem taking $550,000 from me three weeks prior to me going on the Republican National Convention. And then you want to be a f***ing tough guy on Twitter or X or whatever it is and throw shit out there about me? Like, whatever. To support their can to support the party, yeah, support the campaign. Yeah. The, te the Teamsters Union has historically endorsed a candidate, right? Right. A presidential candidate. And this is one of the first times. Two in times we have it. 1976, we didn't endorse. And 1996, we didn't endorse. Okay, so for the first time in th 30 years now that you guys haven't done and it. And again, the reason why we didn't endorse in, in 1996, Clinton, because we endorsed him in 92. And look, he created NAFTA. And it f***ed a lot of our members over. And we lost jobs as a result of it, so we couldn't. We what couldn't. Are, and and you why know, would he do it though? Why? Because who are they beholden to? They're not. Even though they say we're beholden to working people, we're beholden to to, to middle class, we're beholden to American worker. They're beholden to look all money. these uh, and the money and the next opportunity, right? Because mm. you're not there a long time, right? And you know the next opportunity. It's like what's his name? Uh, the guy that looks like <laughs> Bradley Cooper, the governor of. Uh, of California, Newsom. That guy is bought and paid for by big tech. Sean? Sean, you get it. All right, you, you clearly get it. You understand that the Democrats have sold you down the river. And that's been the reality. The Democrat Party 30 years ago used to be this, if you were looking at the political compass, if you were to look at it sort of uh, uh, just at a straight view, the Democrat Party would be smack dab in the middle. They used to be the centrists. Bill Clinton came along, and then he tried something called the third way politics, and then he let his wife Hillary uh, have a little too much say in what goes on, and you ultimately got something called NAFTA, which Sean is smart enough to reference here. But y'all, the Democrat coalition has been held intact for almost 100 years. If you ever want to look at the Republican Party and the Democrat Party and just boil it down to its basics, the Republican Party used to be the party of business. And then the Democrat Party used to be the party of the common man, so to speak. That is no longer the case. We are in a wild, quite literally, we are in the wild. We are in a political timeline where the historic uh, political parties don't, actually ad adhere to their old ideals. The Democrat Party will give lip service uh, to the common man, so to speak, but they won't do anything to help them. And the Republican Party is now at a civil war within itself, not just over um, whether Donald Trump should be the head of the party. No, no, no. That's not it. There is an ideological civil war going on in the GOP. Hey, y'all. I'm not exactly looking at retirement anytime soon. But my parents are. 
and friends of my parents are. And I'm sure either you or someone you know is looking at retirement and wondering, what do I do? How do I help prepare for this in this economy with this terrible president and with a vice president who basically coup d'etat him and is now looking to run for president herself? How do you protect against this? Well, simple. You go over to my friends at Colonial Metals Group. They quite literally have something called the Retirement Package Plan. This plan backs your wealth with gold and silver accounts. And furthermore, you will have direct access to these accounts. So you're not at the whims of Wall Street. You're not at the whims of inflation. You are in command of your own destiny. As a bonus, qualified applicants can receive up to $10,000 in free silver, plus a couple of other little goodies that they're going to package up for you, and you're going to be able to protect your wealth and your retirement. So go over to this link in the description below at colonialmetalsgroup.com or call this number 800-203-0422 and see how they can help you prepare for retirement today by backing your account with gold and silver. Don't delay your retirement, folks. Protect the money that you earned with Colonial Metals Group. They're here to help. And it's basically between Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz, and they're not referenced here at all, but Josh Hawley, not even a year ago, came out in favor of unions in his home state of Missouri. And Missouri is seeing a slow rise in blue collar workers because Republican states are slowly attracting what's uh, basically been destroyed in the uh, Rust Belt. That the Rust Belt, the, the uh, Midwest, used to be the harbor of American uh, uh, exports. That's where we used to make everything, and now the Rust Belt is called that because everything is old and rusty, and the factories have been shut down, mainly in, in part due to NAFTA. It's been due to uh, the rise of the Near East. It's been the rise of China. It's the rise of these nations who can pay their workers less, and it's somehow cheaper to pay these low-skilled workers across an entire ocean, arguably an entire planet away. And it is now more economical to do this. And so Sean O'Brien, who was invited by the RNC to come and give a major speech on their platform, that is a historic shift. Granted, this guy's a bit of a Marxist, okay? He might talk like a blue-collar centrist, but deep down, this guy loves the ideals of Karl Marx, mainly because when you're in a union, you're going to end up being on the left, no matter which way you slice it. It, it. You will ultimately gravitate towards that direction. And it doesn't matter what union. It, it could be the Screen Actors Guild. It can be, uh, it, it can be the line, line workers who uh, get up on those power lines and make sure that electricity is running to your home. It does not matter. Eventually, you will start to steer left. And I can understand this. But I need to talk coalitions. That's what this is ultimately about. This isn't about Theo, uh, Theo Vaughn uh, hitting on something that's very prescient. It's not about Sean O'Brien uh, just voicing his anger, which, by the way, his anger is well-placed. The Democrat Party used to be uh, the bulwark for these union workers, and they're not like that anymore. They used to be the centrist, like if you're looking at a screen and you're looking dead center, the Democrat Party used to be here. Now, if you were looking at a uh, political spectrum, now they're going to be up in the uh, uh, authoritarian center and uh, authoritarian left quadrant. And the Republican Party is merely picking up what has been left behind. These centrists, these average American workers have been left behind because the Democrats have, have basically just abandoned them. FDR and even Barack Obama uh, was able to tap into this anger and this uh, sort of malaise that had uh, be, just overcome the United States. There was the Great Recession and the Great Depression. That's specifically why I'm referencing these two presidents. But they did very little to actually revitalize the very things that helped the union worker. Currently, the Republican Party is now fighting with itself over whether they should help these people directly or not. Folks, it, what, what it's coming down to is something unusually simple. We are facing an economy where our federal government refuses to help. We are facing disaster relief where more money has actually gone to migrants than it has to U.S. citizens. 
we are currently living underneath a government that does not help the American people and actively works against their interests. And that's what these union workers are understanding. That's why Sean O'Brien is so mad. And I'm not usually in Sean O'Brien's camp, but he understands something that I fundamentally agree with. Our political coalitions are breaking apart at the seams, and we are now seeing a new era in American politics. This isn't this isn't just wild. This is unprecedented. And we are now seeing what happens when the Democrats abandon people and now Republicans are stepping up in their place. That is exactly what's going on in this video. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed that segment here on Brawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.